Now, for the past few days, there's been a little controversial situation that's been going on that involves Drake, Sicko Mode, and XXX Tentacion. What exactly am I talking about here and what exactly has happened? So, for the past few days, there's been a lot of conversations on social media regarding the Sicko Mode music video with, of course, Drake and none other than Travis Scott. You may wonder how does X tie into this whole situation? Well, if you've seen the Sicko Mode video, then you know that there's an extremely short moment on the video where we see this right here. This is a person that resembles X, who at one point in the video gets crushed by a meteor. Obviously, if you know the history behind the XXX Tentacion and Drake beef, then this is something that you might get really upset by. And considering the fact that X is no longer with us, this is a very sensitive topic for a lot of people, but most of all, it's a very sensitive topic for his loved ones, aka his family and friends, who've been posting things on social media regarding this entire thing, so let's check out what some of them have said. Now, one of X's good friends, whose name is Tankhead, hopped on Instagram and posted this right here saying, tired of all this below the radar shit and I refuse to sit back and watch this shit transpire like it has. A nigga try my nigga got a problem with me. Champagne poppy, fuck a nigga. And then he went off on an Instagram live session saying this. And then also, DJ Scheme, who used to work very closely with X, posted this comment on Tankhead's post saying, Juice World's Drake diss, which wasn't a diss, was actually released way after this video. So, no, it's not Juice World, that's for everyone saying that. So, if you're wondering what he's referring to here, people initially had this theory that the person on this shot right here was Juice World, because if you've listened to Lil Yachty's Nothing to Prove project, there's a song on there called Ya Club featuring Juice World himself, where Juice says this right here, and people took these bars as a diss towards Drake. But of course, it couldn't be possible for Drake. Drake to respond to Juice World that fast since Sicko Mode and Lil Yachty's album were released on the same night. But then X's own mother also commented something on the post and she simply said LLJ, which stands for Long Live Jose. That's her pretty much just co-signing the theory that this is actually X and that Drake decided to pull this very disrespectful move. Now what do I personally think about this entire situation and do I personally think that Drake sneaked this X on the Sicko Mode video? I know this might be a very unpopular opinion but I'm gonna have to say no, I don't think that is supposed to be X on the video. Let's of course acknowledge the fact that it looks very much like him and considering their history it would only make sense that it is X. But one reason why I'm leaning more towards no is because Sicko Mode is obviously not Drake's own music video but it's Travis's music video which means Drake doesn't have any directing credit on the visuals whatsoever and only that little reason goes for something. Of course that's not to say that there's no possibility that he didn't have some kind of involvement behind the scenes because he is featured on the track but keep in mind when it comes to these extremely high budget music videos like Sicko Mode every little shot every little moment and every second on the visuals matter which means everything is gonna get dissected very closely and even though we're talking about literally one second on the video of a person that looks like X and gets crushed by a meteor that's not something that's randomly gonna go unchecked and also considering that this is under Travis Scott's name I just can't see how Travis would have given the green light to something like this this is a man who passed away who Travis himself paid his condolences to yeah. How hypocritical wouldn't he have looked if he was a part of this entire thing? Of course, you could make the argument that since Drake and Travis are good friends, he's gonna stand by him no matter what. In this case, I just don't see how that would lead us to where we are today. Keep in mind, we're talking about Travis Scott, who's one of those artists who barely ever addresses anything on social media, anything from things that are related to him and Kylie Jenner, to Nicki Minaj throwing dirt on his name because Astroworld sold more than her album. Just from looking at his track record, he's one of those rappers who uses his platform for what it's supposed to be used for, which is strictly music. He's the last person I would personally say is gonna get in between the XXX Tentacion and Drake beef. But this situation has actually gone to the point where Dave Myers, who is the director of the video, is getting crazy amount of backlash on social media. People have been commenting very hateful things on his Instagram and I just don't see how that's gonna solve anything. Now that's of course my personal opinion regarding Drake's supposed XXX Tentacion diss on sickle mode. But what do you personally have to say about this? Do you think the person we have right in front of us who is getting crushed by that meteor is X himself? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and let's have a discussion about this.